Leslie White's Theory of Cultural Evolution Leslie White was an American anthropologist who played a major role in shaping how we understand the way cultures develop and change over time. He believed that culture is not something fixed or unchanging. Instead, culture evolves, just like living organisms evolve, and there are reasons behind why some societies become more complex while others remain simple. His theory of cultural evolution focuses on one main idea, that the development of culture is driven by the amount of energy a society can capture and use through technology. He believed that the more energy a society can control and use effectively, the more advanced that society becomes. To explain his theory, Leslie White came up with a simple formula. It says that the level of cultural development in any society is equal to the amount of energy that society uses, multiplied by the efficiency of the tools and technology it uses to capture that energy. In simpler words, if a society can use more energy and has better tools to use it wisely, then that society will grow and become more complex. White believed that this rule could help explain the rise and fall of civilizations, from early tribal communities to modern industrial nations. Leslie White looked at human history and tried to find a pattern in how cultures grew. He noticed that in the earliest stages of human life, people only had access to the energy in their own bodies. They hunted and gathered food using their bare hands or very simple tools. As time went on, humans began to domesticate animals. Now they could use animal energy to carry heavy loads or plow fields. This was a big step forward. Later, people learned how to use energy from natural forces like wind and water. They built windmills and water wheels. Then came the biggest change of all, the use of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. With this, people could run machines, power factories, and build modern cities. Each step along the way allowed societies to grow larger, more organized, and more powerful. What made White's theory different from other ideas of cultural evolution was that he did not focus on race, geography, or the belief that some cultures were naturally better than others. He was not interested in judging which society was superior. Instead, he wanted to understand the mechanics behind how cultures evolve. He believed that culture follows certain laws, just like the physical world follows laws of physics. In his view, culture was a system that could be studied scientifically. Leslie White also had a clear idea of what he meant by culture. He said that culture includes all the things that people create, believe in, and pass down to the next generation. This includes tools, customs, religion, art, and language. But for White, technology was the most important part of culture because it controls how much energy a society can use. The more advanced the technology, the more energy a society can control, and the more that society can grow. He divided culture into three parts. First, there is the technological part, which includes tools, machines, and techniques. Second, there is the sociological part, which includes social institutions like family, government, and education. Third, there is the ideological part, which includes beliefs, values, and religion. According to White, these parts are connected, but technology is the driving force that influences the other two. When technology changes, it causes changes in society and in the way people think. This means that if you want to understand why a society is the way it is, you should start by looking at its technology. White's ideas were different from those of another famous anthropologist named Franz Boas. Boas believed that each culture should be studied on its own terms and that it is wrong to compare cultures in a way that says one is.
better than another. Leslie White agreed that we should respect all cultures, but he also believed that there is a general pattern to how cultures evolve, and that pattern is based on energy and technology. This led to debates between anthropologists, but over time, many people saw value in both approaches. One example of White's theory in action is the Industrial Revolution. Before this period, most people lived in small villages and worked on farms. Life was hard and slow, and people depended on human or animal power. When machines were invented that could use coal and steam, everything changed. Factories were built, cities grew rapidly, and new forms of transportation and communication appeared. This change was not just about machines. It affected every part of life, including how families worked, how governments were run, and what people believed in. White would say that this change happened because people learned to use more energy in a more efficient way, and that led to cultural evolution. Leslie White's theory is not perfect. Some critics say that it focuses too much on technology and ignores other important things like human emotions, moral values, or political decisions. Others say that not all societies want or need to evolve in the same way. Some cultures may choose to live simply and focus on community rather than on growth and power. Still, White's theory gives us a useful tool to understand why some societies grow faster than others and how energy and technology shape the way we live. Today, when we talk about things like global warming, renewable energy, and the role of technology in our lives, Leslie White's ideas still make sense. He reminds us that culture and energy are connected, and that every change in the way we use energy will have a big impact on our society. Whether we are talking about ancient tribes or modern digital cities, the link between energy, tools, and cultural growth is something we can still see all around us. White also helps us think about the future. If energy and technology are the main forces behind cultural change, then what will happen as we develop new kinds of energy and smarter technology? Will societies continue to grow and become more complex, or will we face limits to how much energy we can use? These are questions that White's theory helps us explore. In conclusion, Leslie White's theory of cultural evolution offers a scientific way to understand how societies change over time. By focusing on energy and technology, he gave us a powerful idea that connects all human cultures through a common process. His work encourages us to look at history and modern life with a new perspective, one that sees culture as a living, changing system. If you enjoyed this explanation of Leslie White's theory and want to learn more about important thinkers and ideas, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us keep sharing big ideas in a way that is easy to understand. Thank you for watching.